or we have released a new version of our plant database application, SPPDB. And I'm looking here at the interface. I've been able to find a species in the database by simply typing three or four characters in this search box in the control bar on the right hand side. So KRU and hit enter finds Eucalyptus cruziana. Now not all the information about this species is here but we can fill information out from a series of drop down lists so if this particular plant has say grey silver foliage and we want to emphasize that in our future search or maybe it's showy flowers or some other characteristic that you want to use you can go to basic data and ornamental features and you can add whatever you want to that list it's completely flexible you can now type and add new records to the drop down lists that belong to every one of these so conditions here dry conditions full shade and so on uh, there but again the same applies if you don't like the terminology that we've used here you can either add new terminology or alter the existing one by simply going basic data and conditions here and you have a full list of information that's going to go in that drop down list the same applies to all of the other landscape uses and, and localities and so on you can still scroll through the database this little indicator here will take you to the first sorry the next record in the group and you'll notice here we don't have an image so it's possible now to just go to the internet and find a reference to say an image of eucalyptus latins and i'll paste that url in the box there so you can see we've found a reference to that image in Wikipedia and it would be a good idea to say down the bottom here in the comments image from Wikipedia we sponsor Wikipedia by giving them a monthly um, donation but it's still a good idea to acknowledge the benefit so I can then click download and now save you can save the images wherever you want on your computer and uh, I try and be consistent about that so the image is being downloaded from the internet and is now in the database let me apply the updates and I'll just scroll back two or three images and so you can see now as I scroll forward because the image has been downloaded it loads very quickly indeed so we hope some of these are improvements in this version of uh, SPPDB and some improvements that you will enjoy.